I'll be a hundred percent honest. I have no idea what the title of this episode means. Mercury is retrograde at Christmas. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Toradora, episode seventeen. The last episode, the last little mini arc we had, was just a, a, a tear jerker, heart hitter. Just it sums up pretty much a lot of difficulty with relationships and leaving a certain place where you've been solidified. You've had a set schedule for years and years and years. It's just, it's just a difficult high school and school puberty growing up is difficult, and this show emphasizes that well, very well. But with that being said, um, Kano is gone. She went to America. Taiga is suspended for two weeks, and Kitamura is the class president. So sh some shit actually went down. I say we hop into this episode though. Waste no more time. Remember, guys, if you guys want to support me and get early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I've watched in the past, consider checking out that Patreon down below. If you guys still want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and then a nice comment down below, it really helps push me out into the algorithm, helps make my videos get a lot more views, and it really, really means a lot. Thank you guys so, so much. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the streams and the updates. And if you guys want, ever want to ask me any questions that you know I'll answer at the end of the episodes, make sure to check out that Discord down below. There is a Q&A section for that. I appreciate y'all. Let's hop into this. Toradora episode 17. Mercury is retrograde at Christmas. So another fantastic episode. I love the change in theme. We're going into Christmas, baby. Suspension's over. Uh... I think this is going to culminate into the climax of the show and this Christmas little arc is going to be the rest of the show because I can easily see this and where we're starting this first episode of this arc off in the, into where our characters find love or find their true personalities or true selves, whatever you want to say, because... Man, I tell you, these seeds have been planted for so, like, they've been, we've been just watering them every episode. I just want to see them bloom and grow into, into love, you know? Because, god damn it, is this fucking awesome. You got the whole squad meetups, you got individual issues. Like, it's so obvious that uh, Kushieda Minorin is having, you know, like, the whole, are you feeling guilty was like, and it, if, if this is what I'm thinking, if she has truly liked Ryuji for, who knows when that necessarily started, but let's just say a considerable amount of time. It would make a lot of sense for her to have these instances where she opens up and connects to him, you know, on a deeper level, which they've had multiple times, but then realizes what's going on and then draws back on it and say, oh, it's just a joke, whatever, you know, just we're just having a hypothetical conversation because deep down she thought that Taiga likes uh ryuji as well they're always together you know it's like a common like it's it's a well-known thing in school that ryuji is taiga's lapdog even though it's, you know it's like oh you just always want to make her feel you guys are best friends you know that's what happens but if she thinks that and then the whole guilty thing about like seeing a picture of kitamura in her book confirming like i don't know if that's confirmed with her like mentally internally yet because she still is thinking about it and it's fucking with her in softball games if she was truly like, oh, okay, she likes Kitamura. I can't, I, I shouldn't be guilty anymore then. I think she would be fine. I think it's there's a reason. And I think that reason is because it's, I don't want to say it's obvious, because clearly we have some huge outside perspective as the audience compared to the average day-by-day -day high schoolers that these guys are. But it's obvious to us that it's not the case, that Taiga doesn't, I mean, she might, she might, she... Even her, she might be lying to herself. She even might think she loves. I don't even know. I can't say, I can't say this character loves this other character. I don't know. I'm, who am I to say? I'm just saying it seems that way. You know? You know what I'm saying? And it's, I just want these guys to unravel. I just want them to tear all their walls down and just let everybody know how they feel. We'll all feel better afterwards, but what can i say this is a tv show i gotta keep watching hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know what you thought down below of course huge shout out to the latest sponsor plebma appreciate you oh so much my man don't forget if you guys want early access don't want to wait if you guys want full length for some reason want to rewatch this one maybe the next one check out patreon down below other than that make sure to follow me on twitch and on twitter i appreciate you dapper squad i'll catch you in the next one peace out guys